The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you are encouraged to post your comments, uh, whether you agree with uh, me or not. And uh, thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated across the United States into 12 million additional households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. Some disturbing events uh, developing right now in Georgia, the former Soviet Republic, now an independent nation of Georgia. Uh, interestingly, uh, for those of you who weren't around, the, the news of the Russian invasion of Georgia was first uh, reported to the world, actually, here on Pal Talk, because, of course, we have a worldwide... Um, audience on Pal Talk, worldwide membership on Pal Talk, and as it happened, the second it happened, the word went out on the wire on Pal Talk, and uh, we got a report. Uh, uh, Danger Russ is the nickname. Scott from Canada was on the line on Pal Talk, talking to people in Georgia and reporting here on News Talk Online what was happening, which was very interesting. And now he uh, was ahead of the uh, wires. Uh, when he told me a little while ago that the Russian troops were advancing on the capital of uh, Georgia, which would indicate that this is not merely a little border skirmish over disputed territories, but uh, actually an, uh, an attempt by the Russians, obviously successfully at this point, to take back uh, a republic that was once part of the old Soviet Union. It makes me wonder, is the bear back? What does this mean for... Uh, the geopolitical situation in the Caucasus, what does it mean for uh, the uh, control of oil through the region? Because uh, Georgia was friendly to the United States, and uh, there's an oil pipeline that goes through there. Now, apparently, the Russians are going to have control of that uh, pipeline. What does it mean for our troops that are stationed in Georgia? There are about 100 troops there who are uh, uh, training the Georgians. This is a very, very disturbing development. I was on a conference call with two senior fellows from the Council on Foreign Relations today, and they, they were concerned, albeit, uh, in my opinion, very much understating the issue. Here to help bring it into perspective uh, is the first time, by the way, that we are using a correspondent from black5.net. Let me just tell you a little bit about Black5 and uh, how this is going to be very exciting for us here on Pal Talk in the very near future. Uh, Black Five is really a group of uh, military and war correspondents so that, that was put together uh, when uh, there was concern about how the mainstream media was covering the war in Iraq, and there was concern as well about the fact that the mainstream media had started pulling assets out of Iraq, uh, especially at a time when the surge was working. and. Uh, as uh, many of you may know, uh, one of the wonderful radio affiliate networks that are on uh, Pal Talk is Radio America. Radio America brings you the Doug Steffen Show, uh, G. Gordon Liddy, Michael Reagan, and Greg Knapp here on uh, PalTalk.com. Well, they are now going to be adding to their lineup uh, in a few weeks uh, the Black Net, uh, the Black5.net folks. At least once a week, it will expand, I am sure, to a daily show as uh, time goes on. And uh, what we will be hearing on that program, which will be resident here on Pal Talk, are reports from the uh, military correspondents all around the globe. They dispatch them into the hot spots around the globe. Uh, so they were so kind today to bring to us an expert on the old Soviet Union, and a, a war correspondent who has twice been embedded with the troops in Iraq. So he's a guy who really knows his stuff. He is writer, photographer, and now blogger, Blake Powers. He first began studying and writing about Soviet uh, space and military efforts back in 1983 while serving as 
correspondent at large for Space World magazine. Uh, he has done two embeds, as I mentioned, in Iraq, reporting for Black5.net's military blog. He wrote as his master's thesis a biographical directory of Western observers of the then Soviet space program. He has been to Russia, and he was in the process of uh, packing his bags to travel to Georgia to report on the rising tensions with Russia when the invasion began. Uh, Blake uh, Powers, uh, welcome to News Talk Online on PalTalk.com. Thank you very much for having me. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I suggested in my intro that maybe the uh, the Russian bear was back, the Soviet bear was back. Um, I hope I'm not overstating it, but I really am concerned about this invasion because uh, we are now hearing from uh, the, the people in Georgia uh, here on Pal Talk, that the Russian troops are advancing on the capital, which would mean that Georgia will be lost to Russia probably within the next 24 hours. Uh, at least that's my assessment of it. Do we have to fear that the expansionist Soviet Russia is, has returned and uh, that a new Cold War is developing? I think it's a very reasonable concern. Um, it's in many ways, it's not surprising. This is, in some ways, as a number of people have pointed out, a direct result of the situation in Kosovo. And when you tie in the uh, oil and gas pipeline that was deliberately built through southern Georgia so as to avoid Russian control and the Russian ability to put a stranglehold on Europe by cutting off their oil and natural gas uh, through their own pipeline into Germany. Yeah, yes, I say it's a very reasonable fear. And um, it's obvious that this is not about territory, right? I mean, uh, the president of uh, Georgia did 